Three, two, one. Is that on? Yeah, okay, sweet. All right, so yeah, we can just start whenever now. Yeah, if you just give me, if you could just give me a kablam so I know that we're starting, thank you. Uh, just a quick kablam for Pat. Yeah. Can we get a kablam? Someone behind the set? Yeah, I don't really know where to start because your story's super long. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Life Noggin is the channel that you are a part of now, and you guys, you started that with Ian and Jared, right? Was it just mm -hmm. the three of you? Yeah, um, well, me and Ian started the, like, the channel Life Noggin, and then Life Noggin Studios, which is the, uh, guest company that does all the other stuff that we do. Um, it was me, Ian, and Jared, and, uh, yeah, we are Life Noggin. Mm -hmm. So how many people work with you guys now? Um, we have currently, um, 12 people in our operation. Dang, dude, that sounds crazy. Yeah, it's, uh, stressful. You know, the more, uh, people you have to, um, look after, the, uh, worse everything gets. <laughs> <laughs> Half of companies are, there's glorified babysitters. I guess what was the first thing you guys worked on together? Because you were doing YouTube videos, you were all doing YouTube videos, and then the yeah. earliest thing I remember is Less Than Live. Oh, yeah, so... I've been on YouTube since 2006, the beginning of 2006, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I, st I was making videos like on my own before any of this, and they were all bad, clearly, they didn't work, um, but uh, I, we ended up making Less Than Live, which is a weekly live show that um, Ian, me, and like several other people hosted. Um, we did it honestly, like we were bored out of our minds, but we, we did it because we wanted like an easy way to share our audience because we all had different like demographics or just different people watching us. Honestly, it was like a poor man's O2L. <laughs> I don't remember that, but I like to think we were way more attractive than all those guys. I mean, um, it's obvious. It goes without saying. Thank you. Thank you so much. But I said it anyway, just so you know. Um, I had the most fun doing that because it was our friends getting together and it I honestly prepared me for running a company with uh with ian and just just running a company in general we were on deadlines and we had to come up with different shows every week and it was cool it was a cool little production that we all did out of our own rooms and i, I remember the, those like times fondly that was like four years ago i'm acting like it was 20 years ago jesus i mean it kind of feels like it <laughs> Well, yeah, in internet years, four years is like 20. You guys were doing that, and like you said, you were doing comedy. So when did you decide, like, hey, guys, we should make educational videos instead? Um, uh, yeah, because the two kind of don't have anything to do, do with each other much. Um, when I was making, um, like, comedy videos, uh, which I'm going to use... I'm using the word comedy like very loosely. I'm putting it in like seven uh, quotation marks. I was making videos that were that, that what I thought everyone else wanted to see. Like I thought that those videos, like the type of videos were the ones that everyone wanted to see on YouTube. So I was doing like, my first kiss, am I gay? Question mark, question mark. My Uber driver kidnapped me. Like I was doing like, I was doing stupid things like that. And I was only doing it because I thought other people wanted to see it, and I thought that if I just did a bunch of those videos that I would eventually get famous, like that was supposedly the formula. Um, yeah. And I think there was one video that I made, it was like me in this like dimly lit, it was in, in my dimly lit room and I had like a light flashing on me, it was very dramatic, and I was like, I am going to just do whatever I want. I'm going to be me and be myself. Um, and, I, and I remember right after that video, I lost so many subscribers. <laughs> I, I, I got a, like, I didn't get really any comments that were like, what the hell are you doing? But it was more just like people just stopped watching. And they're like, oh, he's going to go like the super artsy route. Like, you're not going to talk about your, like, five things to do around your crush i'm out anyway i left i left that whole like scene and i wanted to get more into positivity videos when i found that like i was really reaching people and 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 from what i can see actually helping it felt way better than making a video that was like watching the notebook and reacting you know like i felt 
better about myself and like what I was making. Um, so then I saw a lot of people making um, educational videos on YouTube. Um, and I, I saw like a uh, crash course and SciShow, um, ASAP Science. I was like really inspired by all those people. I thought to myself like, oh, I can do something like that. I can create you know, like an education um, based thing. And uh, then I didn't for a year. <laughs> I stopped. I just, I was like, nah, nah, this idea is not going to work. Oh, so man. for a year, I just held it. Or like right when all these education channels were booming, I was like, nah, which is one of my like biggest regrets because yeah. um, I, I shouldn't have been scared about it, you know, but uh, I'm glad that I did it a year later. Uh, and funny enough, the reason that it's um, animation and not just like me in front of a camera is because I frequently get acne on my face and I was like, what happens if this channel blows up? I, and I can't, cause there were sometimes like, oh, I'm not gonna make a video this week because I have like nine pimples on my face. Uh, I was like super self-conscious about it. And then uh, I was like, oh, well, I can just make it voiceover. My voice can't get acne. I mean, I could lose my voice. You know, that's another horrible thing, <laughs> but uh, voice can't get pimples. I really did it out of like, my convenience. <laughs> yeah, it was more like, oh, well, whatever. I uh, don't have to look a certain way. That's funny. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah. But that's really cool that there's like an origin story. Because I mean, I'm sure like everyone who watches Life Noggin loves that art, or art style. Uh, yeah, and the, it's, the thing about the art style, I guess, is that uh, I, I did it also out of like, I can't, I'm not going to be able to pump these out fast if, if they're like really intricate so yeah. I, I really liked those business explainers um where it would be like you know some tech startup and they're like we are gonna revolutionize the way that you print out your photos yeah. and then and so they have like a fun little 2d like thing and look how simple it is the animation is simple so you think that this this is simple i really liked those but i didn't want to do the whole like bull crap like uh you know stuff behind business um so i just copied that art style because i thought it was so cool guys there's antics i don't know the rules but it's happening first one to have a panic attack wins oh, holy <laughs> shit see that this might be a trick question because i'm not entirely sure if creative fulfillment exists but now that you have like found your format you guys are got got it all rolling do you feel like making life noggin is creatively fulfilling for you or do you have to search that out elsewhere that's interesting that you're, you're asking me this question because it's something that i'm going through right now um we've been working on the channel for like three years and it's a lot of the same i mean the, yeah. every episode is different but it's a lot of the same stuff and uh at one point, I remember we were considering uh, hiring somebody to do the thumbnails. I went to school for graphic design for a little bit, so that's like, I that that's my passion. Like, I love, graphic design is my passion. Um, I love doing that stuff. I felt like if I didn't do any of that, I wouldn't have like a connection towards the thing because I didn't animate. I do the voiceover, but like, no creative thing is done by me. So I still, to this day, do the thumbnails and I do all the branding because I want to have that connection towards it. But recently I've been feeling like, oh, I, I want like something else, a more, a more creative thing that I can do. Um, and so we're launching new channels uh, in 2018, which is going to be fun. That's an exclusive <laughs> news drop. <laughs> That's exciting. Um, you heard it here first on Lonnie. Oh shit, boys. Um, and so we, uh, we, we were launching these things and it's gonna allow me to work on new videos. It's gonna allow me to create, uh, you know, a 
different brand. I'll flex my creative muscles a lot more and it'll seem different to me. So um, I don't know if that's the solution. I don't think there really is any solution. Yeah. I mean, you said you don't think creative fulfillment exists. I think it does. But if you're doing the same thing over and over again, you definitely aren't going to be as fulfilled. Yeah. Um, but personally, I think that's okay. Because like it's you're not suppo- like you're not supposed to oversaturate yourself. I think with the stuff that you're doing, so, we're doing it for three years. It's a long project and it's still going. Like I feel I feel fulfilled. I feel like we've done what we needed to do, um, and that doesn't mean that it's not good anymore uh, by any means. I really really like what we're doing and I think we're putting out our best work now. But I really think that if I were to still be searching for some kind of creative fulfillment for this thing, it would be, I'd be essentially just lying to myself, you know, because it's, I, I am fulfilled. <laughs> I'm essentially just pouring milk into an already filled cup with milk and just keep pouring and keep pouring and going like, am I good now? Yeah, that's um, an interesting way to put it. Yeah, if that made any goddamn sense. Yeah. Um, but uh, I, I think we're, we're always, as like creative people, um, and I, I think you're very creative. I think all the things you do are super fun. Um, Thanks, man. I I think some of the stuff that you're making now is your best stuff. Thanks, and man. And I hope that you're getting some kind of creative fulfillment out of it. Um, and I don't know. It's just important to keep reinventing yourself <laughs> and yeah. keep, keep changing. Um, I know YouTube doesn't like that. But, uh, <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can reinvent yourself, but you have to just fit a mold. Yeah. Yeah, I might take this out, but just since we're talking about it. Like, uh, I feel like uh, once you find a form, I feel like as a creative person, creative fulfillment wears off, and you're always chasing it in new ways. Mm-hmm. And when I did Lonnie Dose, when it was new, I was, I was very creatively fulfilled. I was getting to edit in new ways, getting to try new things. And then eventually, when you find your format, it kind of wears off, but you have to keep doing it. And I think that's that's kind of what led me to feel like I was using more of a logical part of my brain and not a creative part, even though I was technically making things. Yeah. If that makes sense. Absolutely. And, that, and that's something um, I think I'm going through now, where it feels a lot like... It's still super fun, don't get me wrong, it, it, but like it feels a lot more like work, but because yeah. it is... Like, any creative project is always going to feel like work, and and but I, I understand like once you, you you get to a point where it's it's less about the creative and more about upkeep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but upkeep is is still like an important part of it. But I completely get it. Like it's it's not something that you you feel like you want to be doing anymore, or you feel like you could be doing something different. And and that's why you see a lot of YouTubers like pivot. Um, and they'll go to something else. Um, but I think the successful ones that like want to go to something else, they still maintain their personality. They, they maintain their um, like creativity. So it doesn't matter what they're doing. They're having fun doing it. And you can see that. Mm-hmm. Um, Cause I can't tell you like how many channels became like toy review channels or now I'm going to make slime. And it's like, you were that's not where you were making at all (laughs) before but if they're happy and they're enjoying it like cool get that coin but like stay true to yourself like if that's not what you want to do or you're not having fun doing it like usually i'm going to be able to see right through it um yeah i don't know i think there's ways to i think there's ways to go about it where you're not feeling creatively dead Mm -hmm. um because at the end of the day like people are subscribing for you. Like they like your personality and what you bring to the videos. Cause you obviously know how many gaming channels there are. There are hundreds of thousands of people who are subscribing because they like your version of whatever it is that you're doing. Just so confused. Just so confused. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm scared my nails will pop it if I touch it. Oh, what? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. oh my God. Sebastian's dead. <laughs> want 
you. They want what you're making. Um, I don't know. I think that's a. I think that's a better way of of going about YouTube is investing in yourself and getting people to subscribe for you. That way, if you want to go from making uh, education videos on YouTube to unboxing an Elsa doll that cost you $150, like, I think that's great. More power to you. Just, like, be yourself about it. Thank you for the hint of what the new channel is. I'm looking forward to it. I'm already subscribed. <laughs> yes. Oh, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Did I spill the beans? Um, no, we're not doing a toy review channel. Disclaimer. <laughs> Fucking toy noggin coming soon, dude. But yeah, thank you for oh, coming on here and talking to me about this fictional oh, yeah. or non-fictional topics. Yeah, sorry I talk so damn much. <laughs> nah, dude, I mean, that's what that's what it's all about. It's just casual. I'm still figuring out what the hell this is, to be honest, but happy to have you on. everybody's still figuring out what the hell this is. Yeah. What are we, Lonnie? Where are we? That's it's probably easier to figure out, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got GPS. Exactly. But, but, uh... Fuck, what was I gonna say? <laughs> oh, that you love me? That is honestly basically what it is. Just, uh, it's been really cool watching Life Noggin take off. Uh, you say your old videos were bad and they weren't. And it's just been cool to see, like, something come out of nothing. Because it was, like, impossible for your, your, like, group of friends to not do something big on YouTube. Because you guys are so creative and, like... Just very capable, so it's really cool. I'm very proud yeah, of you guys. You gotta stop making me blush, dude. It's okay, they can't see. They can only see me. <laughs> oh, okay, good, yeah. Well, why don't you put a little, like, phone that's blushing on screen right now? Definitely just to represent would. me. Um, I can say the same thing about you, man. I, I don't know, you don't have to put this in if you don't want to, but, like... I love compliments, loved, I'll put it in. I love everything that you've made, and, and your journey is, is, is a unique one. And I think... Like, there is so much expression in your stuff um, to where, like, you know, Life Noggin is education, but your stuff is, is it's you. It's it's how you're feeling in the moment, and, like, your creative endeavor is is one that nobody can copy because it's yours. It's your story. Um, I want you to make a fuck ton more videos. <laughs> um I look forward to each and every one of them, dude, and I have for a very long time, so. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. All right, we're going to hug over the phone. <laughs> one, two, three. I'm hugging the phone. Good. Who did the thing? Did you hug the phone? I did. I'll, I'll know if you're lying. You will, because I'm holding a camera still. <laughs> <laughs>